You're not going to believe what we have in store for you today, folks. It's the International World Championship of Foosball. On the left, we have the 20-year-old phenom schoolboy, Nico Volgamut, a.k.a. Nico Voldemort. And on the right, we have the superstar of foosball who needs no introduction. That's Tony Spredeman, who looks like if foosball was a person. This is sure to be a real ass greaser here in the World Championship title match, and you may have come into this broadcast an atheist, but I promise you will walk away from this event as a devout practitioner of the foosball religion. Now playtime is over, the practice round has ended, the condom is coming off and we're going raw. Nico Volgamut has possession of the first international championship slam jam of the day. He's passed it up to his number five. He's in great position to score here. He's looking to charge it up. He's in attack position here. Will Tony be able to answer? Ooh, excellent defense from Tony Spraydeman. They don't call him Tony Sprain your wrist Spraydeman for nothing. Able to easily lock down there and avoid the quick goal from Nico. He's already passed it up to midfield with ease. Now you gotta put points on the board if you want to win the game here. Tony looking to get up to his number five to score. Unfortunately overshoots it a little bit. Comes in a little too hot there. Nico Volgamut takes control. Tony gets it back for a split second. Nico comes in again. We are all over the place right now. Now, as many of you know, Tony Spraydeman is the king of the tornado table. However, this is not a tornado table, which means you're not going to be seeing any sodden panties being tossed around and landing on the foosball table on the battlefield or anything like that. This is just going to be some standard classical foosball play by the books. Now, surprisingly, we're still scoreless in this one, which is very uncharacteristic of Tony Spraydeman. By this point, he's already done three keg stands and five goals. Excellent defense again from Tony Spraydeman. He's back up to midfield with complete possession. Oh, excellent defense from Nico. Oh, my goodness. We're all, we're all over the place. I can't even fucking keep up with this shit. Good Lord. Tony Spraydeman has control of the ball. Back by his own goal. Nico Volgamut back to the number five. In good position here for a huge strike, and he gets it. We have drawn first blood, Nico Volgamut on top with the first goal of this World Championship showdown. But as we all know, Tony Spraydeman does his best work under pressure, a lesson we learned at last year's Tornado Table Championship match when his family was taken hostage and threatened with execution right in front of him. He was able to easily win the match, win the world title, and save his family's life. But again, keep in mind, this is not Tornado Table and it doesn't matter to Tony Spraydeman as he just squeaks in a quick goal right there on Nico Volgamut, answering right back. Nico Volgamut right now playing with a chip on his shoulder, trying to prove that even a young man like him can go up against some of the ancient architects of foosball like Tony Spraydeman. Oh, and Nico says, what does my cock taste like? Breaking wrists and breaking dicks out here. Nico Volgamut with another big goal on the legend Tony Spraydeman. Tony's definitely not one to have his pants pulled down in front of the cheerleaders, so he's going to look to answer back. But unfortunately, this call goes to voicemail, unable to answer. And oh my goodness! Nico from way downtown. It's turning into a bloodbath. Tony is getting bent over the table right now by Nico. He is taking Tony over his knee and spanking his cheeks red, disciplining him. But Tony Spraydeman's in a good position right here. Ooh, wonderful defense from Nico Volgamut right there, sending the ball into the spectator stands, most likely killing one of them. We're now in game five, the final showdown here. I fell asleep for the last four games, but it is a tie game right now. And it's all or nothing here. Tony Spraydeman in a fantastic position, but even better defense from Nico Volgamut right there. Whoever wins this, wins the entire championship title. It's all riding on the line right here. For glory and fame, and a grand prize of right around $50, this is what foosball is all about. And Tony Spraydeman gets the first goal here, putting his ass in Nico Volgamut's asshole. Nico Volgamut now has possession. Will he be able to match this intensity? Because Tony Spraydeman is playing like a man possessed. His eyes are rolling into the back of his head as he transcends this dimension and enters the foosball dimension. Oh, and Tony Spraydeman from across the map. Good lord, is there any stopping this madman here? You couldn't wish him away with the seven Dragon Balls gathered together. We went from watching foosball to watching an ass fucking. Oh no, Nico Volgamut is falling apart here. The pressure is overwhelming. Tony Spraydeman is out of control. Slow rolls a goal from across the field. Tony Spraydeman showing why he's considered one of the best the foosball world has ever seen. Nico Volgamut unable to answer back with this cutthroat defense from Tony Spraydeman. He leaves no room for the ball to go through. Just none at all. His defense is one of the best. His offense is one of the best. He is just the best. Tony Spraydeman. Is in another great position here. Nico Volgamut has the ball, but it still looks to be all Tony right now. If you flip a quarter right now, 
there's a 50% chance heads, 50% chance tails, and a 100% chance that Tony Spraderman is clapping dick on the foosball table, baby. Oh, and put Nico Volgamut. There's still signs of life. Getting a goal in there. I hate to be the one to say that it's most likely over, but I think this shit is kaput. Tony Spraderman is just dialed into an unholy zone of foosball, and Nico has no answer for it. Tony Spra- And that's game. Tony Spraderman seals it, and that is your new world champion, Tony Spraderman. Still, one of the best in all of foosball.